everyone welcome to my channel on 30th of may we have sun and moon coming together at 9 degree of gemini forming a new moon which will influence us over the course of next two weeks a new moon is an opportunity to start anew to sow the seeds of something that will benefit us over the course of next six months it is an opportunity to start something which is very very instinctual and purely driven by our own inner drive because this new moon is unencumbered it has no influence which is external in nature so it is purely driven by our own instincts our our own mind our own intellect and it is happening at exactly the same degree where we had the lunar eclipse or the full moon of 30th of november 2020 which means that it is possibly replacing something that was lost completed or given up in november or december of 2020 we had to move forward from something old our old knowledge our old skill set our old thought process our old mindset and that process started in November of 2020 and we might have worked on new skill sets over the course of 2021 now with this new moon we are given the opportunity to launch that new idea this new skill set in the practical world but because it's unencumbered it's like you have it you have become it but you somehow don't believe it so the next two weeks are sort of dedicated to believing it by putting some structure around it by putting a formal structure around this new beginning this brilliant idea this new thought process this new skill set this new self-expression that once felt like an impossibility to you but now it has become you it is the time to go ahead with it 30th of november 2020 we had a lunar eclipse at this very degree and it was activated in august of 2021 so that is the chain of events that we have come through for this new start which you should reference back to look back at your discussions the new skill sets you have acquired on the way to this journey that we are now moving forward on the new mindset that has come through through this new knowledge through these new associations that you have formed over the course of 2021 which started from the process in november or december of 2020 and now we are finding a new channel to it a new way to breathe it to express it to live it it is a new air that you're going to breathe but sometimes it feels that it's not ours because it does not have any aspect any physical ways of expression so you have it but you don't yet believe it you are unencumbered and free to do what you had set out to do with that closure in november or december of 2020 which reached its next phase in august of 2021 and now is the time to go live with it it has been one hell of a journey and we are going to go into the the detail of it all today. My name is Charu. I'm your host on this journey. Let's dig in. A new moon is when sun and moon come together and it is normally the perfect opportunity for us to start something new, to seed something new. And next two weeks are perfect opportunity for us to start something, nurture something, seed something, register something, which is a new opportunity for us. And it is a reshaped opportunity. Normally an existing opportunity is modified or reshaped in a Gemini new moon. And Gemini new moon is normally a new beginning in the mind, in a witty new start, fun new start, skillful new start. So so the makeover of the mind, makeover for the writers, for the traveling sector, for the fun sector, for the comedy sector, for the communication sector, buying new communication devices, tools, methods and ways to connect with others. It's a makeover for the creators. It is a makeover for the very wind around us. It's like we get new air infused in our mind and in our, uh, in our uh, throat chakra. So we get a new voice to speak up at this time. It is happening at the time when its ruler is retrograde. So we'll have to wait till Mercury goes direct, which is after 3rd of June, to actually start something physically new. But we can start acquiring the tools for it and start getting ready for it. Also, you're nurturing and registering a new start for something that you have possibly given up a lot, especially in 
2020 when we first had not not go into gemini that was the period when relentless pursuit of a new skill set might have begun and this november or december 2020 is the period when it fully became evident that you're not interested in the old skill set or the old mindset and you want to do something different your allegiance might have shifted around that time but it took you time to acquire this new set and now is the time to test the ground to move forward on this new ground the new tools the skills and the foundations that you laid down in 2021 now is the time to move forward with it commercially and physically so as this is coinciding with mercury about to go direct this would very much be a rebirth of our mindset and the skills that we use commercially to be successful you'll find yourself using a different way of connecting with others especially in the commercial world in the physical world and that was the whole purpose of the period from may of 2020 to january of 2022 when we had north node or rahu in gemini it was it was there to shift our mindset as well as to have this accelerated skill set shift which many of us went through but now is the time to go live with it because there's a lot of closure and release of an old mindset of the old education it all came with a lot of loss of faith because south node was in sagittarius we had to move away from an old thought process we had to move away from what we thought was our religion what we thought was our path what we thought was our life purpose we had to move away from that higher picture the longer term picture that we had imprinted in our mind we had to modify that we had to stern the ship in a different direction so a lot of loss of things detachments from teachers from mentors from people who brought us up till then that had to happen for us to move away from that old chapter of our life and now we are ready to leave our own unique footprint in a new world and that is what this is a beginning for this is a beginning to live in a new mindset with a new voice with a new skill set it infuses new energy in our communication and the way we work with others how we connect with others what is the mode of communication with others how do we connect with others what do we call a team how do we work with a team that whole concept has changed and now is the time to bring that concept to life teachers learning education these are the sectors which will go through a major a uh, breakthrough in my view with this new moon something new can come about in the field of education in the field of learning in the field of teaching in the field of writing and creative creations what are the skillful creations we do what is called creativity how do you create using your hands or using a software what kind of creativity is given birth to using our hands and our brilliance of our mind combining the two that would come to light publishers traveling sector writing sector travelers within us and the adventure within us our nerves our lungs our voice our hands our arms our speech these are the parts of us which are being infused with fresh energy and given birth to in a new way this is new air that you and i are going to breathe and talk in a different language to each other in but as saturn is about to go retrograde saturn will go retrograde early part of june it's going to make an hard aspect it is making a hard aspect which is called a square with mercury the ruler of this new moon and this stifles the air to some extent it does create a sort of doubt or self doubt in our ability to speak for example i almost did not do this video i just did not feel ready i did not feel mentally ready for it because i felt i didn't have anything useful to say and in that context i i didn't think it was good enough to go but that very stress that very uh, stiff stifled air it creates the pressure to produce our work it creates the pressure to give a structure to that skill set to formalize that skill set to give it all we have got to give it structure so does it tame the wild mind and the wild thought process which was just an air just a thought process in the air does it structure it or does it suppress our belief in it that is a choice that is in our hand because gemini is duality it's two faces so 
we have the option to choose a path to choose a path of whether we let it tame our ideas does it structure the ideas or does it suppress the idea that is uh, definitely a choice that is given to us because this inhibition is internal this inhibition is within us when Saturn squares square is an internal inhibition that inhibition is not external you do not I have this channel I can I can direct I can I can shoot I have the tools required for it so the inhibition is internal it is not external the internal inhibition is what is to blame for what it is to overcome essentially as much as we can blame the external factors or for not being able to do what we have always set out to do for which we fought for almost a world to do there is no other inhibition except within us so it's a mindset which is suppressed which we need to fight against and it's our own mindset that we need to fight against so does it tame your wild idea or does it structure it? You'll have to choose that. That inhibition is internal, not external. As much as there will be a tendency to blame something external for not being able to do what you had set out to do since 2020. It needs structure. It needs more effort. It needs longevity. It needs work, but it is not impossible anymore. It is not an impossibility anymore. It was never an impossibility to start with, but any perceptions that stood in the way that I am not that that perception has changed through hard work on a skill set over the course of 2021 now you have to own it now is the time to own it we are in fact about to enter a very brilliant period we'll have three planets we'll have Mercury Venus Mars all three of these planets which in some ways rule our personal faculties our voice our choices our actions they will be in their own signs and when they are in their own signs in their own domain they are at home it's a very lucky aspect to have when we have mercury venus mars all three of them in their own sign at an individual level we are given all the tools to make something happen so our personal faculties in some ways they are at their best and that's happening from 13th of june to 22nd of june that is even now we don't even have to wait for 13th of june even now venus and mars they are in their own signs this gives us an at an individual level a lot of ability a lot of energy mars is energy and drive and venus is ability to make the right choices it gives us the ability to create and attract the positive attention if you take the effort if you take the effort to do it to move forward on this brilliant new start gemini is a sign of duality it's never one thing it's always multiple things and that's the brilliance as well as the folly of it that we try to do too many things it's not one interest it could be multiple interests that we are interested in and that we want to go for and it's about how many things are stimulating you so saturn to some extent tries to tame that it tries to structure that can we focus on one thing at a time could we make a formal structure of one thing that you are interested in and truly interested in it is also the degree of quiver filled with arrows quiver filled with arrows is the sign of conquest it is the sign of bullseye it's a sign that if you focus on one thing and try to make it happen you have all the tools in your armor to make it happen it implies multiple targets sometimes that we are trying to aim for as well as it implies that you have the energy of the conquest you are able to make the biggest conquest it's like somebody can you know fire 1000 uh, 1000 arrows in different directions but you are that you are that person when you have this degree either in your birth chart or you birth something with this degree you have the ability to put your energy into one project one objective one single ambition one single goal and that could be the greatest achievement of your lifetime this is a very very good degree because this degree is aspecting a very beneficial star called Aldebaran. I'll talk about that in a bit but know that we'll be required to focus this energy because Gemini is not known to not skip from one to another it's a flighty mind so we'll have to concentrate and focus on what do we want out of this that's why it's unencumbered nobody external can tell you what you want out of it you have to ask yourself what you want out of it 
you can be playing with your options but over the course of next two weeks you might be asked to decide on your options getting over yourself in some ways and moving forward and that's deeply emphasized here the getting over ourselves because this degree uh, when it says it's a degree of conquest it's not just a degree of conquest on something external it is a degree of conquest on your own self as well the whole uh, archery the zen meaning of the archery is about getting over your own ego self as well so there will be an element of moving forward which is deeply emphasized here uh, because you cannot play full on if you're stuck in an old ego identity and that is deeply emphasized by this degree it also Im implies that we would need to overcome something within us as i said to move forward and it could be a self-imposed restriction it could be a habit of ours because this is about moon it could be a habit of stifling your own air that you have acquired over ages that you need to get over to move forward on this this is also emphasized by the fact that mercury is turning direct at the degree 26 27 degree of taurus which is the degree of algol algol is a fixed star which is represented by beheaded medusa it is a symbol of something that needs to be drained a venom or dysfunction from our life or from our thinking that needs to be drained for us to move forward and this is very much uh, brought to light uh, right now with Scorpio eclipse that you and I are still living through that we just had lunar eclipse is about bringing our emotional dysfunction to light there will be something within us that needs training overcoming and letting go that is our past dysfunction for us to move forward on it a battle of dysfunction mostly within us is one to move forward on this very lucrative and beneficial new start unencumbered from the past uninfluenced by anybody external this is the degree of immense skill as well where intuition essentially meets hands and tools the freer you let yourself be unencumbered that you let yourself be the more brilliant your creation is going to be the less scripted your life the less scripted your next next steps are the more brilliant they are going to be because they will come out of your true self can you move beyond your traditional system of measuring yourself can you go beyond uh, you know your past currency because the new skill the new talent that you might be working on it may not pay in the currency of the past it may not pay in the currency of the past it might pay in something else something to remember that it might pay in very different currency with pluto making a positive aspect to the ruler of this new moon which is mercury we have the gift of focus we have the ability to see the forest and not the trees so use this to come out of the woods if that's where the eclipse season threw you like for me so dig your mind out skillfully through practical real work by just doing it by just doing it which this new moon is encouraging us to do and it supports to come out of the cloud to speak up to use your hands to use your voice to use your mind to start working on what you were working on it is far from dry because neptune is making a creative aspect to this new moon and that is the only aspect this new moon is making which is a creative aspect we don't consider it a, a, a strong enough aspect but a creative aspect influencing a new moon means that this new start needs to have a higher purpose and in your mind you would know that this new start has to serve a purpose beyond material it has to have a higher purpose of your soul it has to ha have a purpose if i dare say to serve something beyond you it has to have something which is love which is beyond you it could be serving the divine or the collective through something it goes beyond commercial it's almost too sublime to make commercial in some ways it's almost when your work worship becomes work or what you love your love for words becomes your livelihood it's sublime and it's something that only you can understand why you are doing it neptune also emphasizes the fact that you're doing it for the sake of it for the sake of love of it doing it for the sake of love of it instead of any world's logic it's clearly shown by the brilliance of the star Aldebaran that is attached with it. 
because Aldebaran is a is one of the four only four royal fixed stars, and it's uh, one of the greatest stars for success. But it's also the greatest stars because it takes you beyond reality, it takes you to a surreal part of your life. It takes you to a part of your life where integrity is more important than skill. It takes you to a part of your life where you're tested uh, in terms of your investment, your integrity, your reason for doing something. And it offers the possibility of great success like all royal stars do. So if any of the four Persian royal stars, they're embedded in a new star, it is normally bound to be a success. But each of these fixed stars, which are the royal stars, which do offer the promise of success, they come with a test. And for Elder Brown, the test is of integrity of purpose. How pure is your intention? And this is the degree of Mars. So I have observed that there is normally a grain of rebellion. This is my Venus. My Venus is on Aldebaran. And so it's it's like the self-expression or the things that you love. There's an element of grain of differentiation or almost a rebellion to the norm embedded inside it. It's There is an air of rebellion and and like you're fighting a right cause embedded in a new start like that. It's a factor of going against the grain and by default when you go against the grain you are met with tests and that test of integrity of going against the grain and losing something substantial on the way to it is a key test that you have to go through when something is started under this new under this new moon which is aspected uh, which is at the degree of this fixed star Aldebaran as we go against the grain there's this test of integrity and it was shown in the chart of people who are who have this in their in their birth chart like Galileo Galilei he had to give up a lot to go against the church and say no earth is not the center of the universe earth rotates around the sun not the other way around so people who have uh, Aldebaran in their chart they have to fight against the grain and it comes with a test that you truly believe in it. Yes, you believe in it, but are you willing to go that extra mile for it? Are you ready to make that sacrifice for it? So there's usually a test that comes with it and you might have already gone through it or you might be going through it. There's a moral, moral dilemma that comes with it and a challenge to be able to live your life in your own truth that comes with it. There are repercussions for going against the grain, for working on your instincts that comes with this new start. But this start makes makes this new beginning a bullseye. If you go through that test of integrity and that's where you're coming from, this is a bullseye, which means a sure shot achievement, a precise and highly effective, effective achievement that comes with the star. Provided we stay true to ourselves and we're not afraid to go against the grain or worse, we cower and go to our own old ego self instead of moving forward. So we end up normally fighting a righteous fight with our words, with our creativity, with our talents under this. This fixed star is associated with the Persian god called Mitra. Again, Mitra was a god who held people responsible for the sanctity of their contracts. It's the god of oath. If you took a oath, you took a word, it, it, it's going to hold you down for it. So the god of justice, contract and war He's the punisher of those who break the oath. He tests those who have broken their contracts. So he, the myth goes that he used to run people through the tunnel of fire to show that their morals hold up and that, a sanct that the sanctity of their objectives and their word means something. So they're held accountable. We are held accountable for the contracts that are made under this new start. And that is the test of this new start. You have to hold yourself responsible for the words that are said in this contract. But at the same time, you risk losing everything, which is the challenge normally presented here. We're tested and we, we, we risk losing our honor and our investment into something if we do not follow the contract so there's a sanctity of the contract that's why it's it's a brilliant new moon for signing contracts or documents but we are in retrograde right now that's why current period is not apt but 20th of june when mercury and jupiter are making a positive aspect with this star 
that makes it a perfect time to sign something new which you are beginning under this new moon formalizing it signing something against it that's the apt time for actual execution of the contracts but this new moon is apt for seeding a new contract because you would find that people will be held again will be held integral or to the sanctity of those documents to those contracts to those words especially if you're making it with somebody else essentially i haven't been able to confirm this but some astrologers in 1900s they astral they they said that if it didn't rain during the activation of this fixed star that we're going to have drought now this is pretty old so i'm not sure i i personally have not tested if it rains or not and drought because it's a big world something else can happen causing drought but yes food shortage famine they are all emphasized we have spoken about it under uranus in taurus and especially now that it's about to meet north node in taurus in july it can push us to form a new way of agriculture a new way of acquiring our food a new finance new currency etc so there is a possibility because of other reasons definitely for the food chain to be affected and famine um, i mean we already are experiencing the drought and the shifts that are coming with it i don't know whether this moon contributes to it but there are some astrologers in 1900s who did emphasize that this new moon if if the activation of this fixed star happens and there is no rain then it can cause drought essentially aldebaran is known to have quality of mars which is considered to be a war star it gives us the courage and the ferocity but it's not like it's it's opposite end antheras we talked about it it's on antheras is on the ascendant of united states it's not like antheras it does not start a war but if there is a righteous war that is brought to it he will fight it so it has the courage and ferocity to write to get something to fix something to fight the righteous fight essentially let's go back a little bit in history to map out this specific new moon the specific new beginning to exact dates and see if you can personalize it to your own experience move back to november of 2020 when something might have ended it could be an epiphany it could be an information that comes to surface during the lunar eclipse of november of 2020 or december 2020 that opened your eyes to a different way of being like you're done with an old mindset an old structure of life a new way of earning your income a new way of commercial reality that you are thinking about and for that you'll have to give up a old skill set and old journey that was the theme of the november or december of 2020 eclipse and it was a bend in the road for many of us where a different journey was just about to begin but before you can actually have a new mindset first of all we need to acquire new skill set secondly we need to empty the old mind the old thought process that need to be drained in august of 2021 we moved to the next level of progression it could be that you found new tools to move in a new direction you acquired a new kind of education or you got the new skill set mindset to move forward in a different direction compared to what you had in november or december of 2020 it's like the fork in the road came in november or december of 2020 and then finally in august of 2021 you were able to find the tools to move in a new direction this is the next level of progression now this is where the ending and the conclusions or the formal discussion with somebody in november or december of 2020 now you are replacing it with a brilliant new idea now we have a brilliant new start which is devoid of anybody else's influence it is pure it is fun it is brilliant it is full of talent which is replacing that it is free from the influences of the past it's a new mind it's fresh air a new skill a new journey that now you're free from invisible shackles to pursue and perform fully on you could be for example and i'm giving a hypothetical example very hypothetical this is not legal advice and this is definitely not a moral judgment i'm sorry if it triggers any of you but say you are a big creator a big actor a big artist 
and you lost a visible court case in UK in November of 2020. Something concluded, something was announced, something was finalized for you. But then nothing is finalized in Gemini, it's a mutable eclipse. So whatever happens in Gemini eclipse is subjected to change. And then came the next chance when the notes came to that very point in August of 2021. And say you got another opportunity to pursue that very legal case in a different jurisdiction and it was not stricken down. It was allowed. That is your card. That is your next movement. It became an opportunity and a loss for that artist. As now he gets to have a new start, a new path with a new skill set. Not the same skill set. A new skill set. But this very series of events, the closure, the loss of November 2020 pushed that person in this new skill set direction. And I'm again, I'm sorry if it offends any of her. I'm just stating the dates and you can link the rest yourself looking at the case. Eclipses and lunations on these degrees, they always stand critical for United States of America because it sits on the critical axis it sits on the descendant, the seventh house cusp of United States. That's why critical events happen when this decree is activated. We saw that in November 2020, when we had the US elections, we saw that in August of 2021, when we had the Afghanistan withdrawal linked to this lunation. We also had Pfizer and BioNTech come up with the COVID vaccine in November of 2020. So information and news or events that are critical to the United States, they usually come to life with these donations. And we'll experience that over the course of next two weeks. And especially because it's on the seventh house cusp of the United States in many of the U.S. birth charts. This is actually the ascendant of the United States. But I use the other chart where the Sagittarius is the ascendant of the United States and Gemini is the descendant or the seventh house cusp of the United States. If I go by that chart, we will see events that are linked to external affairs, known enemies, relationship or contracts with other countries that will come into focus. And the sanctity of those contracts, those alliances, those legal agreements or judicial process, it will come into focus. A new beginning on the seventh house cusp as this would be for United States, it normally brings new start related to wars, arms, international affairs, alliances, laws and treaties to focus for a new beginning over the course of next two weeks. But it will definitely be linked to commitment to something, a relationship to something. And this could be uh, this could have a legal or a judiciary element, in my view, linked to it. In terms of the U.S. elections, this year, the mid-year elections of the United States, they are happening on the day of lunar eclipse. I don't know who chose it, but lunar eclipse is happening on that very day of U.S. elections. And that lunar eclipse is happening conjunct Uranus, a wild card event a completely out of the blue surprising event. Now in November of 2020, we of course had a change uh, with the elections that happened uh, in November of 2020. Republicans lost the elections. I'm not an American voter. I'm just stating what happened according to what I know. And August of 2021, uh, again, I'm not an American voter, but you could look back if there was something that was done to change that or something related to Trump happened at that moment. We will find that over the course of next two weeks, something could happen, which could be a news or an information which could come up, or it could be linked to alliance of United States with another country that could influence the elections. In my view, the mid uh, June full moon would also be very key for Trump as it falls on his moon. So you will find that June, the month of June could be critical for Republicans, for Trump overall and for the US elections, as well as its alliance with a critical party, some legal or judicial or being the righteous one in an alliance or allegation to uh, a third party 
it could be brought to surface for united states as a country this moon falls on the son of victor orban i don't know if any of you are from hungary but the prime minister of hungary uh, and saturn is currently transiting the north node of hungary opposing the moon and leo in eighth house of the country so it can bring unfortunately some sort of financial hardship or overall tough time for the people of nation uh, and they could be uh, against going against the grain again i'm not saying anything out of the blue because this has happened before this is not the first time victor orbain will be going against the grain this happened with the november 2020 when there was the eu budget that was announced he went against the grain and you'll find him going again against the grain here and uh, but this time because saturn is opposing the the moon of the country we can find that the country could face some financial hardship as a result of that european union overall has a stellium in scorpio and with south node currently in scorpio till july of 2023 and saturn in aquarius making a hard aspect to all of those planets in scorpio we will continue to see a tough time for countries in eu overall so as victor orbain decides to go against the grain with this new moon his objectives would surely be tested like anybody who goes against the grain with this one uh, other people uh, i don't know if anybody cares but chiloya jo- jolie pitts so angelina jolie and brad pitt's kid uh, was also born under the gemini new moon with an orb uh, greta thunberg has her uh, north node at this degree as well she could also be influenced so that's what i have for you hope with this unencumbered mind you are able to take a bold step forward and understand that even if you don't right now believe in what you have within you you have become it and you just have to execute now going forward that's what i have for you my name is charu i was your host on this journey i'll see you in the next video now thank you